Hey guys, you know how the uh, COPPA thing's been going on here? Well, anyway, my channel is more than likely going to be deleted January 1st through 2nd, something like that. But before I go, I would like to be able to create freely. So my first video right now is going to be pretty much like a COPPA type video. Uh, made something similar uh, before the let's get right into it though what I first want to get into are the rules the boundaries what is considered kids content because that's what you need to know because if you know this then you're probably going to be good actually scratch that you might not because all right if you think about it, we we will never be free. From the, this side, it's going to be like, um, I watched this one guy, and he said it's going to be like a box. You know, like, if you make fucked up edgy content, yeah, you're still fucked. If you make kids, kids content, you're still fucked. So, uh, you know, with that being understood, uh, crap, give me a minute. Alright, but with that being understood, <sighs> have, know what, know what, know what, how about we just get right into it, let's start off, is your content made for kids, alright, though, if we look, alright, the subject matter of the video, uh, for, pretty much, for example, educational content for preschoolers, though, there's also some certain keywords that the algorithm will pick up, like, free stuff, um, the things like that, Par ask your parents, alright, and the other one is whether children are your intended or actual audience for this video, I mean, are they? You should know that, which we'll get into the, uh, what your audience knows part later on in this video. Whether the video includes child actors or models. I mean, I, I honestly can't think of any child actors or models. Though still, if they include them, yep. Eh, goodbye. You're fucked. Okay, now, whether the NVIDIA, the video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures, that means animated channels, they're now fucked. Okay, I was planning in a few months to actually turn my video into an animated channel, which I already have animations, like, written, so I'm, I might just, uh, do you know what I'm gonna do? A week leading up to January 1st, I'm going to release all of them. They're like 20 minutes, there's about each, actually, three weeks. They're about 40 bucks. Not 40 bucks, but like 40 minutes each. I spend hours. I've been working about two years. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand. Like, if you're talking in a voice like this, hey kids! Guess what? You're fucked. <laughs> Though, it's the tone language. That could also set tone. And also, like, alright, think about it, like, the words. Like, if you're saying, hey kids, like, Ryan's Toy Review. Alright? That's another channel, I'll get into that in a minute, on what's gonna happen to most of the kids' channels. Okay? The other one, whether the video includes activities that appeal to children, such as play acting, simple songs or games, or early education. Which, I don't know why they touched on early education when it's in the first one. Though, anyway, like, let's say, like, um, for example, like, toy unboxing, animation, animation channels, because apparently all animations appeal to children. I, I saw someone and somebody did, like, a South Park figure review or something like that. South Park, not for kids. But still there because it applies to children. Okay, now we have to think. All right, what is a children? A ch not ch <laughs> a child. Anyone under the age of uh, thirteen. So anyone from zero, the thirteen or twelve. Wait, what? I might got that wrong. It's whatever. Don't quote me. Okay. Now the other one. 
where the video includes songs, stories, or poems for children, which should be copyrighted, so I don't know why that's on here. But, yeah, that, that explains itself, doesn't it? You, you write kids' songs, you're fucked. You, uh, post stories or upload stories, you're also fucked. You read poems for children, you're also fucked in the ass. Any other information, you may have to help to, you know, like, the evidence of the video's audience. You see, like, if, for example, some, uh, channels, right, like, kids' channels, certain ones, like, um, there's this one called, oh, I, I can't think of it, though, like, they talk weird, it's called, I don't know right now. Shit. Okay, though, anyway, well, let's move on. Right, though, while we're here, all right, how about we talk about what's going to happen to kids' channels? Okay, now, if we just do a quick Google search, I right, pop your kids' channels. Wait, right, I'm just going to go from here. Okay? Um, okay, one, you, uh, so I'm going to do this. Okay? So, I wonder, like, Ryan's Toy Review. Alright, that's going to be one. Alright, that, that channel's out. And then, uh, Morgs, he's also going to be destroyed. Okay? Alright. You got that. Yeah. Jacksepticeye. Probably. Um, that's really all I can think of. Oh, Lego, too, probably. Um, but anyway, that's what I have to do. Alright, right now. I'm just more channels. Alright, I'm still gonna have to do most of the editing. Alright, these are, like, more channels that could appeal to kids right now. This is unscripted, so I'm a bit everywhere. Alright, so we have Ryan's World. PewDiePie. Coco Melon Nursery Rhymes. And then we have, um, Lego, their channel. Uh, from there, that's just some of them to think of. And then, Jack, except the guy, you know, I said that earlier. Um, so, we have this, alright? And then we have, Three Putting TV, Choo Choo TV, Nursing Rhymes, and Kids Songs. And then we have, not even gonna pronounce it. And we have Masha and the Bear. Then we have CBS 3V 3D Rhymes. And then we have uh, Ryan's Toy Review. And then we have Little Baby Bum. Who in the right fucking mind names their channel Little Baby Bum? Then we have another one I can't um, pronounce. And then we have, like, Nastya, or, I, I can't pronounce it. And then we have Sister Max. Okay, coming in. So if we think about it, all these channels, uh, like, 23 million, a lot of them in that range. Though, it's not updated. Okay, so we got through this part. Alright, um, so since we got through this part, how about we go to, like, alright. So if we look here, on the next thing I have on my screen right here, I was pretty much saying, like, alright, I'm gonna read it out. Ask the creator, you know your content best. If you intend, alright, if you intend it to reach a kid audience, it's likely that your video is made for kids. If you are not sure about your audience, take a look at the features of your video. Does it have actors, characters, activities, games, songs, or stories that kids are particularly attracted to? If so, your video may be directed to kids. The key is to balance out all COPPA specified factors that apply to this analyst. For example, the fact that a kid is featured in a video does not necessarily mean that the video is made for kids. You will have to look at all other attributes of the video, like the intended audience where the video uses language that is intended for kids to understand, and the subject matter of the video. A medical video versus a play video.
For further information on whether your content is kid-directed, see the FTC's guidance. You should also consider consulting a lawyer. If you aren't sure whether your content should be designated as made for kids, in addition, creators outside the United States will need to take into consider consideration additional obligations they may have under applicable laws when evaluating whether content is made for kids. Note, while the age of the kid in the United States is it defined as anyone under the age of 13, the age of a kid defined differently in d different countries, so consider the factors described above as appropriate. Given how KID is defined in relevant laws, and consult legal counsel if you have additional questions. Well, that, I regurgitated the whole thing I did earlier. Oh, I hate editing this video. Though, so, don't, don't take everything I said literally. There's probably some good parts and there's some bad parts. And by the way, this is that you can get paid, not paid, sued. Up to forty some thousand, if uh, you fail to comply. So I'm not going to get sued because I can't afford it. But then I can't. But I don't want to afford it. You see. So uh, yeah, pretty much. Please like and subscribe for more fucking edgy content until January fucking first.